Game's got a cold open. I had to fucking hold that for. Okay. Uh. Uh. Excuse that. Oh, come on. This game doesn't play well. It is destroying. Okay, I think it's recording still. Does not want to play nice with my monitors for some reason. Everything is shuffled around. And of course, quite loud, because it cold opens! Really going for that 90s style anime vibes. Now you might be asking yourself, this doesn't look like a horror game. And you might be right at the start, but I wonder if it's going to pop up in the intro. One of those games that has a sinister underside. There it goes. A little bit. Creepy things happen at night. Oh, that's brutal. Little goody two shoes. intro. Themes really well with the anime style. Now, if you would, I'd like to change my settings. Nope, never mind. The secret lies in the woods. Little goody two-shoes. Okay, let me change some settings, please. Borderless. What the frick do you mean 3840 by 2160? No, 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 no. Okay, is that... Will that fix it? Yes, okay. Holy good lord, it completely screwed everything on all of my monitors. How do I... One moment. I guess this game wants me to utilize a controller, so I will. game. Yeah, it's an empty file. I'm trying to sell- what? Huh? Who let the game close? Something. It's not right. This game is- this is a newer game! This is not like a remake of an old game or anything. I don't know why I'm struggling with it so much. I guess I could have watched the intro a second, or er, after rebooting it and fixing the settings first. Oh well, screw it. Little goody two shoes. Okay. There we go. I guess it must have been accidentally selecting. Oh, I was like one selection over. I have to assume. That's <laughs> silly. Astral shift. The little tail of little goody two shoes. Once upon a time in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search for mushrooms. When all of a sudden she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! Cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh my, what do I do? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. 
That was a fairy ring. And so, Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Kieferberg. As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Look, Granny, look! Well done, Elise. Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by... Bedtime stories. So did Holly's. Holes? I'm gonna go with Holly's. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You've always said what you wanted. You wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. Granny. I love you, Elise. Thank you for granting my only wish. Wow, it opens with the death of your grandmother. Okay. An adopted grandmother at that. Consume food items to keep at least. I'm assuming that's it healthy. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. I thought this was voice acted. For goodness sake! Oh, it's not fully voice acted. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, at least. Sweep my floors, at least. At least, at least, at least. Mm. Oh, I'd show them. <laughs> I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Uh... Oh, if only I were rich. <laughs> all the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week, with shoes and jewels to match. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. At least. Oh, for goodness sake. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering about in the dark, at least? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. No better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anything, anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise, we've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance, and for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You are not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Uh. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Fair enough. Find your way home. I'm assuming it's up here. your lantern in dark places. I was saying earlier, I know this doesn't look like a horror game, but the trailers on the Steam page very much made it look like there was going to be some creepy shit going on. And so I'm playing it. Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. Keeperberg viewpoint, Keeperberg peak. It's very, a lot of grapes. 
grapes. Speaking of... Lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. I thought there were legs. Save often. It even recommends cycling your saves. they didn't touch Granny's spinning wheel. Oh, see, yeah, there's the horror. Holy shit! What was that thing? I... was I dreaming, or...? What was I thinking, leaving it here? to light the fire now. Light your lantern using matches. Be careful not to waste them. Limited amount of matches. Got it. So much for St. Perga's protection. I ought to have thrown you out long ago, lassie. Palms join in prayer. The wooden statue of St. Perga grants protection to the faithful. junk sometime, I suppose. A small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. Oh! Cool, there's ten different endings. Whoever broke into my home must be out there somewhere. How am I to sleep with this? Shuddering in the wind, the glass panes tremble in their wooden frames. I should get some windows refitted. This thing's still not working, is it? I ought to have a word with Mr. Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. The clock's hand great dutifully through time, struggling to turn with each passing second. That looks like something I can go through. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Holly's room. Not that there's anything to see there, anyhow. Uh, that's suspicious. Hmm. What is Good this? grief! What if I was that? What if it that was that witch the town folk have been going on about? Keep it together, no, Elise. Keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. That said. I'm not going anywhere without my broom. Broom? Huh. Is it a weapon? Oh! Cool. Worn out and brittle, the broom's ragged handle is riddled with crevices. Rusty tin box meant for carrying matches. Emerald brooch given to Elise by her grandmother on her deathbed. Old rusty lantern covered in grime. Whoa, that's that's really loud. One second. Let's turn that 
down just a smidgen. Oh, there's my items list. Okay. Bread. There's oh, there's a food meter I just realized. Soft supple loaf of bread from Lebkuchens? Lebkuchens? I don't know, there's German words. Each glistening grape clings to its stem, coming together in a heavy, plump bunch. Now it heals. It's no use going in the pantry, is it? Uh, looked like there were footsteps going into it. Looks like I'll out the back. How long has it been since I last used this thing, I wonder? Stringy cobwebs and dust cling to the old oven's wooden doors as though sealed. Um. Oop. Oh, there's a. Oh, R1's a uh, text log. That's good. There's how many matches I have. Oh look, farmland. This isn't the time to be watering the garden, is it? Weathered by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn. Time to explore the woods, I guess. Chicken coop? What's that? A person? <laughs> there you are, you shameless thief! Out with it! Give me back all you took! <laughs> right! Hurry now! Up! Smack him with the broom! <gasps> Wait, please! <laughs> please forgive me. yourself, you wretch! What were you doing in my house? <laughs> Please don't hit me! I was just hiding. There were these men and I... <laughs> I won't ask you a second time, thief. Hurry it up! Just give me back everything you took, right now! <laughs> I didn't take anything! I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> Show me your hands. Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, ma'am. <laughs> Show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds? What are you doing up here on the mountains? Oh, I'm a traveler, ma'am. Huh? Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Huh? Yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could rest for the night in this village, but... I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Mm. Be that as it may, you're still... Oh, I... oh please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Oh, shush it! Would you stop calling me that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> For goodness sake. Hmm. All right, then. I might let you go, if you can prove your innocence, that is. Oh, I don't know that's... what else I can do, ma'am. Hmm. Well, you could start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... I'm sorry, I... I did it! Yes, that's it. A maid! All right! Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I'm sorry, I... Man, uh -huh. Complaining already, are you? Would you agree this is the least you can do? Uh, yes! Of course, I'll gladly do it. <laughs> Good. In exchange, I suppose you could stay here. But no more thieving. <laughs> I'm not a thief, ma'am. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? <laughs> ah, indentured servitude. <laughs> Does sound fair, ma'am, and it's very kind of you, but I'm not a thief. <laughs> Fine, you're not a thief. And would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? Uh, I'm sorry. Don't, I apologize. All right. My name is Elise, and you best remember uh, Yes! Ah, yes. 
I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Rosen Reef? Pleasure to meet you, Mrs. For goodness sake! Just at least a spy. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Yes! Discover the thief inside the greenery. Oh, it's a greenery? Hmm. It's a creepy ass fucking greenery. Yeah, we're just ignoring the, like, thorny vines that just attacked me, not, like, five minutes ago. Uh, How could you even do all this? Look at my floors. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you, what are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. Alright, well... You know what you did. Anyway! Here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. All right. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow, understood? Uh, of course! For goodness sake! I told you to quit calling me that! <laughs> show you the well out back. Oh, but I... I can do it myself, at least. Anything to make up for what I've done. <laughs> Look here, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to... Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. At least it's kind of a bitch! Dare to cross me even once and I'll be beha having a word with the town. You hear? Are we clear? Yes, at least. <sighs> Sorry, I'll do my best. Huh. Careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday mass to attend tomorrow. Mm. Keep quiet. Good night, Elise. Mass, huh? I keep gravitating towards the pantry. Granny Holly used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly understood why, exactly. Hmm. Uh. Now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous, or... Mm. Worse, even. What if... She's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about. Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. Yeah, complete bitch! I even threatened to tell on her, too. Aww. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. Consumed a food tick. It's morning already. Uh, can't be late for Sunday mass, or Father Hands will. You can't be serious. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> She's probably taken everything I own by now. One bread for each time period that passes by. That's six a day. Manage your normal food and key items in the item menu. You can consume. What the f I'm not sure what that means. Oh, consume and use. Huh. Oh, that's the end. That's right. Keep 
yourself fed. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but hey, Rose and Marine. The subtitle just says Rose Marine. <laughs> Was that her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night. The poor thing. Uh... Now where could she have gotten to? She's probably out back. Small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this game was going to be voice acted, but that's no big deal. There she is. Rose and Marine! For goodness sake! There you are, you... Honestly, what are you doing back here? I'm sorry. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. I'm sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village? Uh... What do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I... I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did too. For goodness sake. I got it. All of that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Pseudo party system, I guess. Flock. Flock. Does she have a pet goat. Uh. Fluffy companion. been together since. <laughs> yes, we were, we were. He's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? Cute little goat. Mm. I don't trust it. <laughs> cuddliest little thing, he said. Anyway! Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Uh, yes! <laughs> be back in a moment, Clock. Huh. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to do. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm at least. It kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... Oh, shush it! I get it already, no need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be uh, hungry. Yes! <laughs> well, I just had extra bread, I guess. For goodness sake! Good grief. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot? <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me out the moment they found me, but you didn't. Mm. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wander about and don't make a mess. Uh, of course. Pursue your love interests. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head. To schedule a romantic date for later. Wow! Just right out with it. Before you go, Elise, hmm? I have something to tell you if you could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Oh, well, it's important, so I'll be in the back by nightfall, alright? For goodness sake, it best be worth my while, you hear? I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. Huh. Each date will skip one time period. I'm not so certain it's a good idea to leave like this, but... 
Is everything alright, Elise? You'd be good while I'm gone, you hear? Ah, of course. Ah, yes, my indentured servants. <laughs> the romance option. <laughs> Revisit the game's tutorials. Ooh. Odd for the mailbox to be that. I suppose I ought to chop some more wood soon. Just when I'd gotten rid of all those pesky splinters and blisters. Covered in aged scars, the tree trunk sits bare, and its dry surface exposed to the elements. Father hands if I don't hurry up. <laughs> Map menu. Aha. Ooh. Chores to do. Viewpoint. Creek. Crossroads. Village entrance in the village square. Travel, which is fine, I suppose. Christianity, okay. Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns. They'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? Is it purchase? Oh my god. Her friggin' cheeks! What are you buying? Braided soft pretzel, at least his favorite item from Left Cookin's Bakery. I will buy one bread, please. See ya, Granny. Hey, if you wanted me to eat more, give it to me for free. Spend your money wisely. What happened here? Might be best to seal our windows and doors, old Wilhelm. Just in case. Well, uh, she's alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. I did indeed, Mr. Bernard. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the mountains. You'd think the mountains would have it worse. I certainly didn't by the looks of it. 
it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up, up high against folks' doors, entire treetops, some of them. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Old Jokin says he might have it might have been the witch herself, but Oh, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading in now inside now, folks. Let's hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. Everything alright, Mrs. Linda? Oh, Lise, would you take a look at my poor flowers? That windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. Is it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, you've seen all these branches scattered about town. I heard Brunhild's roof nearly came off. Oh, it's so frightening. I suppose. up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Oh, that's such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. I could thank both the Lord and St. Walpurga if nobody was, but many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered and their roof tiles blown off. What about you, Mr. Heinrich? Oh, it was awful. Our window shutters were ripped right off their hinges. It'll take all day to tidy up and fix everything. It's alright, dearest. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to, Mrs. Ar Ariane. That's alright, Elise. Come now, you two. We'd best get inside. Dog. Uh, gives you a warning. This actually will skip the time period. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Uh -huh. Good morning to you too, Mrs. Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come to today, Elise. Oh, why wouldn't I, Miss Sodalai? Miss Odili. Odili? Odili? Let's go with Odili. My Elise, you look, do look quite tired. Oh, those old ladies all thinking I look like shit. Couldn't catch a wink, I wager. Oh, frightened, was it? It must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Mm. Not at all. It seems you folks had it worse than I did. My, now that's hard to believe. It was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Odile? Oh, I've heard it. I have about half. Excuse me. She's saying it came from the woodland. That's what. It's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. We'll see, Marielle. All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness, what has Kieferberg come to? After you, Elise. Mm. The woodland, huh? Ooh, shiny. Elise! Good morning, Elise. Freya. Evergreen, sweetheart. How are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, what can oh me we do? neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh, keep quiet, you two. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Mitwell. <laughs> We'd best focus for now, at least. Shush it, you! You're the one wittering on, Freya. <sighs> May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed St. Walpurga take heed of our prayers. Amen. Ah. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, St. Walpurga. 
As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brother. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. <sighs> Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Mm -hmm. Let us trust Sir Walpurga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. Why do monks always have that weird bald thing? May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. What is that one all the way on the right? What was that? <laughs> Took you all you had to get out of bed this morning, I wager. Another character. Lepkuken. Sugary devotee. Cheese. Cross on the head and the neck. Very funny, Lepkuken. I'm calling her Lepkuken because she cooks. Jokes aside, at least. Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're riling m me up on purpose again, Lev. <laughs> Can you tell? For goodness sake! <laughs> I'd best get to work now, before it gets late. See you later, Elise. Don't forget to come about later, Elise. <sighs> I won't, I won't. Relationship menu. Best send word to Primaldorf before. Ah, at least didn't see you there. Send word to Primaldorf, Mr. Gustav? We're having folks from Primaldorf lend a hand with the festival this year, at least. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was? You ought to thank the Lord for your for good fortune, at least. Certainly, Father. Hard work even on a Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, at least. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav. Thank you. Yeah, those, uh... I think that's Catholics that are much more aggressive with the Sunday rest. Track your suspicion levels? Suspicion levels?! Okay, it's specifically three people then? Hmm. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Lem Cookin. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. <gasps> Bretus! Delicious German treats. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. But I told you Mrs. Alma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernard was fretting over you, that's all. Mr. Bernard could find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. In the afternoon. So what, we've got dusk and afternoon. I gotta do chores and shit. Ah, that's the relationship menu. Suspicion. Oh, little extra stylized stuff. The suspicion meter is suspicious. <laughs> it looks like I have mana there. There's gotta be some magic shit I can do. What's that? something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified be thy name. 
may thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quenched thou shalt be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life bearing grove. Prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. The crossroads? I wonder who dropped this? Mysterious and possibly witchy. Crossroads, yeah, that'd be over there. And luckily, it tells me if time will pass if I do an action, so that's good. I've never seen water coming out of here. I wonder if they've ever been used for anything. Early stone basin sits untouched. I remember sneaking into Father Han's study with Lev when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them, anyhow. Saint Walpurga, huh? Basking in its holy glory, the image of St. Walpurga solemnly watches over Kieferberg Church. Neat. I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Holly passed. Not that they ever did anything anyhow. Kept burning in the wake of a prayer, each candle's flame flickers in serene devotion. This place always brings back such good memories. The fragrant mountain breeze frolics about the rolling hills, spreading its spring cheer all across Kieferberg. For goodness sake! Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. I think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Six day time periods. Goals marked with that icon will skip a time period. Ah, uh, Lise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Ointment. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, Sydney. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. But you have an act for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, so I'm told. I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering. I wanted to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might care to join me, if you'd like. Right, I'll be there, Freya. That's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. That's two people in the afternoon, though. Hmm. What's gotten into her? Lesbians! Yeah, two of them in the afternoon. We can't all leave Kieferberg over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh, at least. It's that witch folks keep wither wittering on about. That windstorm couldn't have been a mere coincidence. Old Jokins. Calm down, Brunhild. Think of your baby. Now, I'm not one to believe such things, but... I thought you weren't buying into this nonsense, Mrs. Bertha. Why, who are you to say it's nonsense, Elise? But it is nonsense. Do you truly think there's a witch out there? Oh, we wouldn't know, Elise. You seem to be a little too too certain about it, young lady. It's because it's utterly ridiculous. You gotta be careful when discussing such things. Truly, Dorothy. You never know who could be listening. What are you... Oh, please don't say such things, Mrs. Bertha. Come now, let's change the subject, shall we? Suspicion up! What the fuck? I just said there's probably not a witch, because these fucking witches aren't real. I mean, they probably are in this game, but it's supposed to be based off real life. Can't believe that old hag. She'll be spreading that nonsense about town all day. Ah, uh, 
the chatty old ladies. I have to assume if your suspicion gets too high, they just burn you. Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys, at least? Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, I happen to work every Sunday, Mrs. Lurley. All right, all right, whatever you say, lassie. Say, have you seen my niece by chance? Molly? I'll take it you haven't, then. No, I don't think I have, Mrs. Lurley. She's been up to no good lately, you see. Running about begging for food, skipping class, who knows what else. I see. Nothing a good whipping can't fix anyhow. I wouldn't be so certain. Oh, this era where it just- Oh yeah, just beat the fuck out of your kids, who cares? Teach them. You've seen what it did to the alleys, Marley. Marielle? Marielle, let's go with that. Oh, Adele, what are we going to do with you? Is everything alright, Miss Marielle? Oh, Adele here is making too much of that wind strong is all. You'll see, Marielle. See what, Mrs. Odalie? Old Junkin's right, lass. That windstorm came from the woodland. It's that wretched witch. For goodness sake. Best keep such thoughts to yourself, Odalie. The townsfolk are already frightened. You wouldn't want to make it worse. I am simply trying to alert folks to the... I want to watch your words, dear. That's what happens when you try Mrs. Mar when you try Mrs. Mariel's patience, I suppose. There's my job. Time for work. All available tasks are marked with the icon, and they will skip a time period. The better you do, the better your reward. Do your best and spend wisely in the shops. There's one here and one over in the village inn. I'll investigate that crossroads first, actually. Whoop. water all the time, didn't we? But we're a little too old for that now, I suppose. Forevermore decorated with blooming flowers and Kieferberg's crest rests atop the square fountain in its ancient glory. Looks to be like a dove or something. Probably not much of down here during the day, but I bet at night it gets all messed up. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Oh? I already attended Mass. Huh. I guess that's still the default. Uh, don't go this way. Best not wander about too far. There's a castle off in the distance in the mountains. Oh, that symbol. What is this? Is this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. Oh. Oh, that's your sanity meter. Sanity healing items or she might go mad. For a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Mm. Someone must be leaving these around, but there's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks, buried within the windmill that once was. Mm. This is that old windmill up in the mountains. What 
happens if you go mad? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? A diary entry? I. This is not the time for this, at least. This looks awful like, like old geezer's rooms, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of her beloved patroness, St. Wilberga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility, not only for St. Wilberga's sake, but for old Holly's as well. What? Granny Holly? On her deathbed, old Holly confessed to all her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. This is not the time for this! Of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the wooden itself granted her wish for a child. And she put it herself. He granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? What did old Holly truly mean to say? If this truly did happen, at least was conceived by St. Lopurga's divine intervention. Yet if not for St. Lopurga's blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more of some questions than I can answer at this moment. What's going on here? I best hold on to this piece of paper. Oh fucking lord. There's a door here too. It's locked too. What is this place? A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gritty surface surrounded by uneven, scattered crevices. Uh, I don't even know what that thing chasing me is. What was that thing? Uh, was I dreaming or? I think I might need something to clear my mind. I wonder if there's something up there in that windmill. I don't know what that was about, or what that thing was, but what I saw in there was a ritual of sorts. There's no doubt about it. Am I a... devil child? Also, it, something dropped, so I guess if I could get in there from a different direction, maybe? Next in the story... Wait, I can't do that right now? I'm guessing if I try to go up there, she's like, oh, I have to go do my work. And that's why it's locked, probably. I like that running animation. It looks nice. This is a really well animated game. Very nice artwork. that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Some other day? Ah, damn, look at that. Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that. Yet here I am, a simple maid of all work. Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. things like telling you in the quest log I'll just call it a quest log the thing you can do is unavailable because it's locked due to time of day or some other shit <sighs> I'll save real quick 